All right, let me see some of these articles you guys linked. What you guys got for me? Here's an article. Twitch streamer Soda Poppin explains why he's given up on Kingdom Hearts 3 in record time. They wrote an article about this. Page not found. The fuck? Not found. Why are these links not working? Wait, XQC secret gay relationship leaked? Okay, you guys are just typing random shit. 15 most controversial streamers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, and then there's this one. Twitch streamer Soda Pop and rips into Twitch culture. Says it's like a giant mental hospital. <laughs> Who the fuck writes these articles? <laughs> streamer breaks Kingdom Hearts 3 because he cannot handle the game. God. OMG, Soda Poppin, Magic, Online, what is this? Okay, not found. Y'all stop linking dog shit. Anyone's a journalist these days, it's just weird. I'm not clicking these bit.ly links. Don't link those. Soda Poppin' The Scoop. Oh my god. Ten reason or top ten reasons why people hate Soda Poppin'. Oh. Okay. I'm pissed. That would have been really interesting. Polygon? Top Twitch streamers address normies as Paul Brothers head to platform. Oh, God. <laughs> How many people do you guys think read these? Are these, like, popular or... Blackjack Internet Gambler throws tantrum. A tantrum, huh? Oh my god. 41 comments. Wait, really? Oh my god. Damn, Twitch streamers are worse than the snobby WoW elitists. Wait. That's a comment? Does it have upvotes in this or people just post? Okay, there's no upvoting. Good news is you found a way to feel superior to both. Good one. <laughs> this guy that's actually good. Okay. Um let's just go from left to right. Twitch streamer Soda Pop and explains why he's given up on Kingdom Hearts 3 in record time. Okay. <laughs> it's just so crazy someone writes an article on something I care so little about. Like this is so minuscule to me. I don't Kingdom Hearts 3 is literally I don't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, Kingdom Hearts 3 has finally been released after a decade from the last sequential chapter in the franchise, but Twitch streamer Soda Poppin might not, might not be on board for the lightheartedness of its story and characters. I didn't even play the old Kingdom Hearts, so again, this game literally means nothing to me. It, it, yeah, okay. Square Enix has released its highly anticipated sequel on January 29th, and while longtime fans of the games are infinitely pleased to finally play it, newcomers might be taken back by the story and its mushiness. During his playthrough of the game, Soda Poppin reached a cutscene where, no spoilers, Sora took a moment to appreciate his friends like he usually does, but this proved to be too much for the streamer to take. Of course. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. 
But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Throughout numerous instances in his playthrough, Soda had encountered moments in the game that bewildered him, uh, be it through the dialogue or the con convoluted story. If anything, Soda Poppins' VODs are filled with hilarious moments of the streamer at the end of his wits because of the RPG. After multiple hours of his painstaking playthrough, he finally decided to call it quits on the new game. He apologized to Kingdom Hearts fans because he was decidedly done with the new release and announced it would be his last time playing it. And I'm not going to beat this game. Uh, that's about it. So, sorry Kingdom Hearts fans. Maybe other people will love it. Uh, eh. <laughs> I just, I didn't even care. I'm done. I am done. GG, I cannot. Soda Poppins said. Not a bad game. It's got some interesting mechanics-ish, but I don't know what the fuck's going on with the story, and I'm not going to beat this game. Uh, the moment is a perfect way to cap off the misery he's been through so far. And who knows if da done the line, Soda will come back to finish the story. Wow, what a great read, man. <laughs> God. What is this, 1948? Celeb Salino. Soda Pop in Net Worth 2019. Real name, age, height, weight, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. Oh, boy. Well, let's close this one. <sighs> Soda Poppin, or Chance Morris, is a famous Twitch streamer who creates gaming content using comedy style and sketches. He is one of the most popular World of Warcraft streamer and has around 1.5 million followers on his Twitch account. Twitch is a video game streaming website that goes live in the air while playing. <laughs> this is a troll. Early years. He was born on February 15, 1994 in Texas, USA. He had a beautiful childhood surrounded by loving parents and seven brothers and sisters. No. Okay, I had to count. I forgot. But, no. His parents are around 70 years old now, so this would mean he is probably adopted. He lived with his parents in Austin, Texas, where he finished high school. He excelled in high school and didn't have problems with getting a place at the campus. Although he was a good pupil, he wasn't really interested in college, but in making his name among World of Warcraft fans. He enrolled in the University of Texas at San Antonio, but left it to pursue his internet streaming career. Did I already read this yesterday? I feel like I kind of did. No, this is just similar to the last one. Um, his parents didn't approve it, but he proved them that streaming is a business in which he can be good at and could earn a lot of money. He has a known brother, Dustin Morris, also known as D. Kane Morris, who is a Texan rapper. All of his siblings are older than him, so he is the youngest child in the family. They are all grown-ups with serious jobs and careers. In 2012, he posted his first video on YouTube connected to a game, uh, and it was called Soda Pop and Playing Amnesia 2. And after that, he turned... A on to World of Warcraft, which is one of the most popular games ever. He was using the name Soda Poppin 33 and seemed to make his channel only for fun. After a while, he collected a lot of views and followers, so he began taking it serious. His first gaming was on a platform, Xfire. And after he joined Justin TV, he has put posts on Reddit to let them know he is on a different platform now, so they followed him on Twitch. That confirms he has an audience that follows him on a daily basis. He moved to Michigan in the summer of 2013 into his own place after his streaming got serious and after it became a full-time job for him. He is the owner of an eSport nor team, Northern Gaming Company, and is constantly getting richer as his number of subscribers rises. He gets money from advertising and selling products with his name. Personal life. Oh, boy. Okay, see, this, this, 
this is a copy paste from like the article I, I read yesterday, right? It has to be. He personal life. He was in a relationship with another Twitch gaming star called Leah. She is known to gamers as Legendary Leah. They are probably still together because they often post photos on Instagram where they are together. Even when we were together, I didn't even have an Instagram account. What? Her real name is Leah, and her surname is May. And he I known to be one of the hottest streamers in the gaming community. She kissed Chance in cameras for a charity donation. He is still living with his parents. Other siblings left, and he, as the youngest, stayed with them. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, what? Okay. Full name, Thomas Jefferson Morris the fourth, Correct. Nickname, Soda Poppin, sure. Date of birth, February 15th, 1994, correct. Birth sign, Aquarius, correct. Birthplace, Texas, United States of America, sure. Age, 23, no. Uh, but then again, that's when this was written, so it's not a big deal. Occupation, Twitch live streamer and YouTuber, sure. Education, Stephen F. Austin High School, no. Awards, the best streamer award from Blizzard for favorite World of Warcraft stream, 2014. Cool. I think so. I don't remember if that's true or not. Personal life and family, nationality, American, ethnicity, Caucasian, religion, Christianity, no. Father name, unknown, it's Lon. Mother name, Joyce. Brother name, I have three. Uh, sister name, I have two. Not married. Girlfriend, not anymore. Sexual orientation, straight, correct. Children, no. Hobbies, unknown. Pet own, pet own. German shepherd, buddy, and a dog named Kevin. This is, that's, and also a cat, okay. Height, 182 centimeters. How many centimeters are in a foot? 16? 30? Right, right. Um, that's 5'8". Yeah, I'm six feet tall, so... So wait, if there's 30 centimeters in a foot, 6 times 3, that's 18, 180. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You're 5'8", buddy. No, I'm not. I'm 6 feet tall. Uh, Five dollars from Maeve said, I'm 19. Smile. Well, you got your ass beat. Thank you. Hey, Chance, I followed your advice on acne, and it made things worse. WTF. You told me rubbing cum on my face would help. I know I did. Of course. That should work. If it didn't work, that's an anomaly. That's really weird. Um, that does, doesn't make sense. Thank you for the three. Sorry. I don't get why they say beating cancer is hard. I'm on stage four already. Thank you for the $5 anonymous. All right, hair color brown, often colored in red, blue, etc. Eye color blue, shoe size. I don't even know what my shoe size is, actually. Um, distinctive features, a birthmark on his right cheek. Net worth and salary, $400,000. Uh, Facebook, there's my Twitter. Instagram. What? Oh, my God. That was the Instagram I got shut down because it wasn't me. Interesting facts about Soda Pop. And here we go. It was the fake Instagram. I'm telling you, the fake Instagram was actually a serious problem. I had to get it shut down. Like, again, there was uh, at DreamHack one time, there was a... There was another person that I was hanging out with, and they were talking to me, or they thought they were talking to me, through Instagram DMs. It wasn't me. And apparently, that account said some weird shit. I don't know what, 
But I was wondering why she was being kind of weird when we were like hanging out. It's like I don't understand. Like I haven't talked to you since like the last dream hack. But she was like really standoffish and kind of like it was it was something was a little bit off. And yeah, no, apparently it's because she thought she was talking to me. It was a fake Instagram account. Yeah, I don't know. That was like a year ago or something. Okay. He has five or over 500,000 YouTube subscribers and over 200,000 Twitter followers. The number is rising every day. He seems to be immature and is often exaggerating when streaming his videos, but that is just his way of connecting with fans and making them laugh. During his playing video games and live streaming, he drinks a lot of sodas, cookies, and pizzas. He often says he is the biggest McDonald's and fast food fan ever. Another fellow YouTuber called Sky Williams has appeared on his channel as a guest. They are good friends outside the gaming world, and sometimes they get together to hang out. I like Sky. I do. But I don't talk to him that often. He was on my stream once. What? A very interesting fact that anybody can see while Soda Pop in streams is the number of his viewers and subscribers that seem to hate him and troll him all the time. N he doesn't mind it. It looks like he is making fun of himself and them too. During streaming, he has done a lot of things for charity work which make him look like a fool, or made him look like a fool. He has put on a dress for charity makeup, and he shaved his head and a lot more other stuff. Teespring has created a t-shirt for people to buy with animated photos of Soda Poppin' and his dogs for children and teens who follow his Twitch channel. All right. Quick summary. Soda Poppin', real name Chance Morris, is a popular Twitch TV live streamer earning money by playing video games on his channel. He's popular and amusing, and he has thousands of subscribers. He is acting quite childish on his streams, but it seems like his viewers like that kind of act and that he found a way to make them interested in his channel. All right. That's a pretty accurate, pretty accurate article. Really not a lot of holes anywhere. Use that. Nice. Thank you, Krubby Donk. Uh, Radicatus, Demolisher, Nomix. Thanks, guys. Said, thank you with $5. It's called Ad Arbitrage. Offshore call centers or automated bots write this crap based on clippings of famous people found around the internet and post it with decent SEO to get clicks from idiots from chat who Google how much a soda pop and make. Yeah. All right. Twitch communities or community guidelines change. 15 oh, most controversial streamers. Is it just... Is it in order or is it... I got, all right. Greek God X is first. This is going to get interesting. Uh, what is this video? It's just an ad. Okay, can't be bothered. Twitch is a revolutionary site. Has brought together streamers and their viewers for hours of entertainment. But Twitch isn't without its fair share of controversy and drama. Here are 15 streamers famous for the wrong reasons. Some far more than others. Number 15. Greek God X. Dimitri Raimondo, Greek God X, and Tony Otis. It's, it almost sounds like his name is from the movie Gladiator, right? And it's his intro when he's, like, walking in. Like, Dimitri Raimondo, and Tony Otis, Leviticus IV. <laughs> Some shit like that. A mafia boss, maybe, too. <laughs> is a streamer with the infamous reputation of being a leech or someone who streams with other people to get recognition because they themselves are unoriginal. <laughs> he first... Oh my god. He first became famous by stream sniping League of Legends streamer Tyler, or Tyler1, Steinkamp. He can be spotted either playing League of Legends, reacting to videos, or joking around with other Twitch streamers. Overall, he is a very entertaining individual who is not as controversial as some other people on the list. Soda Poppin. Chance Soda Poppin Morris made his name through World of Warcraft and has become one of the most popular streamers on Twitch. He is a bit of a trash talker who is often banned by Twitch for his crude humor. His brand of humor brings accusations from some that he spouts hate speech. He released a famous statement during the Twitch thought streamer controversy, yet he still remains popular with his fans for doing things his way. Forsen. Sebastian Forsen, Force fans are perhaps the most fanatical on Twitch. 
They stream snipe him in every game he plays and stream save by spamming sound bites at every opportunity. He created the Ugandan Knuckles meme, and his fans spam the Zulu meme across every Twitch channel. These memes have been called out as racially insensitive and inappropriate, yet they are spammed constantly. But it appears that Forsen can do little to corral his eager fans. Summit 1G. Jared Summit 1G Lazar is a former CSGO professional who has played PUBG, Fortnite, and as of recent, Sea of Thieves. He is an aggressive, trash-talking streamer who finds himself banned quite often. Summit has never been banned before. Period. What? I was on a podcast recently, and Summit was there, and he was saying, I've never been banned. How have you guys gotten banned? So he's never been banned. But let's keep reading. His most recent spat came when he called out Lyric for using the release of Atlas to inflate his views. His accusation of Lyric selling out on Twitch led to many people to call Summit out as a crybaby, stirring up drama for no reason. Ninja. Tyler Ninja Blevins is the face of Twitch. He was known for playing Halo and PUBG, but skyrocketed to stardom as the most famous Fortnite player in the world. His stream is seen by hundreds of thousands of people every day. So what is, what, what he does has a lasting impact on his young, impressionable audience. But controversy followed Ninja last year when he used the N-word on a stream by quoting a rap lyric. <gasps> Oh, and his strict policy of never streaming with female gamers in order to protect his marriage also caused a stir. Man, what a toxic asshole, dude. Pokimane? <laughs> this is retarded. What? <laughs> All right. Imane? Uh, Imane? Is that her real name? Imane? Pokimane? Anis? 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 is seen as a smart, kind person looking to leave a positive impact on her viewers. However, recent allegations have opened up her dark side. She is quick to copyright strike much smaller channels who use her content. And in the video above, she is portrayed as a ruthless business person who calls out and bullies smaller streamers who incorporate her content. Who is, what is this? DB, this is so fucking retarded. Ice Poseidon. This one I agree with, probably. Um, Paul Ice Poseidon Danino is a live streamer with an army of fans. He became infamous for being swatted numerous times, including on an airplane. He walks around with his mobile live streaming rig, getting stream sniped and using edgy Texas speech donations in public. His fan base, the Purple Army CX, is very supportive of him, even when it came to light that Ice allegedly faked his relationship and content for views. Okay. Tfue, all right, Turner Tfue Tenny is one of the most skilled Fortnite streamers. He has been banned multiple times on Twitch for poor online behavior, including calling another player a racial slur and selling Fortnite accounts for money. His chat is known to be very toxic. They raid smaller streamers with a flurry of homophobic and racial slurs. It is unfortunate that such a talented player stream sets such a poor example for younger players of the game. This shit was written by an 80-year-old. That's how I feel. An 80-year-old wrote this and has no idea what the fuck's going on. Destiny. Steven Destiny Bono is, plays a variety of games on his streams, but he also offers numerous debates about controversial topics on his stream. He has been banned for extended periods of time for threatening other players and using the N-word and homophobic slurs. Recently, he has reformed himself. He appeared days ago on the Jesse Lee Peterson show, where he stated his change in political views over time and acted respectfully on the show. Wow, dude. Anything for views. Chad, anything for views, Roberts, rose to fame as a collaborator of, on the numerous YouTube videos created by Filthy Frank, Max Mofo, and iDubs. When the group separated, Chad became an IRL streamer. He was permanently banned from Twitch after going on a racist rant in an RV with other streamers of mixed races. Recently, he has gone back to YouTube and currently hosts a podcast along with Max Mofo. XQC. Oh, my God. 
Felix XQC the Gigel has made a name for himself for being one of the most entertaining streams on Twitch. He is known for screaming into the microphone and pounding his keyboard every stream. <laughs> but the former Overwatch League pros tenor uh, in the league was ravaged by controversy. He targeted fellow player Austin Muma Wilmot with a homophobic slur, had a spat with an Overwatch League caster, and spread Twitch emote among his fans in a racially insensitive manner. <sighs> Sheesh. <laughs> Trainwrecks TV. Here we go. Trainwrecks is truly a wreck. He has <laughs> he has a track record of horrible miso misogynist mis misogynistic comments towards women. <laughs> Squad W. <laughs> he has been caught on <laughs> he's been caught on stream berating female players while playing Overwatch. <laughs> He downplays his derogatory, abusive language as satire, which makes his situation even more frightening. <laughs> frightening. Okay. Recently, he has been accused of sexual harassment and aggressive behavior against fellow streamer Alinity. God. It's fucking retards. Amaranth. Caitlin Amaranth Sindragosa has more than 500 followers on Twitch and streams a variety of content. Though she often pushes the boundaries of what is allowable on streaming the streaming platform, she was also accused of hiding her marriage to appear to her fans that she was single, which, so what? But it did cause controversy among her fans and viewers. Okay. Gross gore. Perhaps less well-known these days, Ali Grosgore Larson streamed League of Legends and RuneScape before he was banned for sexual harassment charges at a RuneScape convention. He had been banned from Twitch in previous years and pledged to reform himself, but these latest allegations have confirmed Grosgore's misogynistic actions and comments. <laughs> they, were, they, they went easy on me. Fuck. Mitch Jones. Mitch Jones is easily one of the most controversial streamers in Twitch history. Okay. He has made a name for himself by stirring up drama with other big streamers in order to boost his view count and subscribers. Originally a World of Warcraft player, he has broken friendships with many of people on his list, including Soda Poppin, Trainwreck, and Greek. It remains to be seen whether Jones will ever repent for his actions or... <laughs> Will he forever stream causing petty drama for handfuls of attention? Okay, this was written by either A, an 80-year-old whose son is an active Reddit user, or B, just a retarded Reddit user. It's one or the other. Repent. Oh, my God. All right, that's solid. So here's another article. Real soda pop in bio. What is this? Page not found. I don't know what. Thank you, dope. Thank you for the donation, man. Serena Lynx, Infid Jage, Thayek. Oh, Irish King. Thanks for the gifted subs. Ollie Ball, smiley face. Thank you, guys. All right, here's another article about me. Streamer Soda Pop and rips into Twitch culture. Says it's like a giant mental hospital. I'll let that title sink in. I need to go to the bathroom. Here we go, bitches. All right. So let's see what this article has to say. 
A live streamer named Soda Pop and has plenty of thoughts about Twitch and those who spend plenty of time on the site. Basically, Soda Poppin, whose real name is Chance Morse, and who has 2.2 million followers on Twitch and another 940,000 on YouTube, said Twitch is like a mental hospital, and not in a good way. Oh, man. You've got moderators who are glorified internet janitor janitors, he said this week. You've got clip chimps who are trying to farm a resource that actually doesn't mean anything but gives them validation. You've got people who watch the streams and relax and are normal. Some. But you've got people donating to millionaires. You've got people who white knight in the hopes they'll maybe get laid by their favorite streamer, when in reality, they're already married. This isn't the first time Morris has called out so-called clip chimps, a.k.a. those who race to Reddit to post a clip from his stream so that the person can then reap karma points. He did the same thing in April when he said, they're so fucking thirsty, man. It's sad. Hello, Matty Asos. Thanks, thanks. I mean, you got moderators that are glorified internet janitors. Oh. You've got clip chimps that are trying to farm a resource that actually doesn't mean anything, but to give them, like, validation. You got some people that just watch the streams and relax. They're normal. Some. But... In so many different dre you've got honestly uh, people donating to millionaires. You got people trying to white knight in hopes that maybe they'll get laid by their favorite streamer. When in reality they're already married. Again, Twitch is a giant glorified mental hospital. It's just fucked in so many ways. I stand by what I said. I'm going to double down. All right. Imagine Morris also said this week, seeing something funny happen on this stream, and your first thought is to race to clip it and post it to Reddit for karma. Again, mental illness. It's really weird. That's what Twitch is nowadays. I'm not going to watch the clip. Morris also is likely correct about users donating uh, money to streamers who are already wealthy. According to one Twitch user, a popular streamer can make tens of thousands of dollars per month thanks to donations, advertising revenue, and subscription numbers. Earlier this year, Ninja revealed that he makes more than $500,000 per month playing Fortnite. Morris' conclusion about the platform, then, is simple. It's like one big asylum. Twitch is a giant glorified mental hospital, he said. It's just fucked in so many ways. Now, he kind of skewed this area because Ninja makes 500000 per month off of subs. That has nothing to do with donations. But, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with donating to a, uh, a larger streamer. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're not doing it because you think they need the money. Because they don't. And I don't really know any large streamers that are not vocal about that. Smaller streamers need the money so nice next one here we go twitch streamer loses five thousand dollars in one hand of online blackjack losing in blackjack is never a fun experience but it's especially gut-wrenching when more than forty thousand people are watching you twitch tv streamer chance soda pop and moors played online blackjack friday using a betting site that features live dealers and in his last hand decided to place a maximum bet of five thousand dollars morris's first card was an ace putting him in a golden position the house drew a six but morris second card was dastardly five giving him six or 16. He decided to hit, but a jack put him right back at 16. Morris stood on 16, hoping that the dealer would bust. The dealer drew another six, meaning that only a face card would save Morris. What happened next was heartbreaking. Warning, video contains profanity. Okay, please, this is my time. Please, everybody, because I'm your fingers. Come on. Oh god. Oh my god. Twelve. Face card. Minus. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Face card. You can do it, bro. Eight. 
Unlucky. What an awesome, amazing article. Wow. Actually, I kind of want to read the comments. Fuck. I'm pissed. Streamer breaks Kingdom Hearts 3 because he cannot handle the game. What blows my mind is there's two articles written on me playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Dude, me playing to that playing that game was like is in no way a big deal. Like it's just such a minuscule thing and such a small part of my life and to see articles written about it is just weird. It's a surreal experience that I'm super blessed to get to go through. Thanks for the reset or the gifted subs Irish Kings. Thank you. Uh, $5 from Lummy said, I heard you need the money. I do. Thank you. It's, it's hard, man. It's hard. How do I see comments on this dog shit website? Where's that? Where do I do that? Look at this. I'm over you. All right, soda poppin', the scoop. These are actually very interesting to read. I've never seen them. Who is this incredible? Thank you, thank you. This incredible Twitch character, soda poppin'. Soda poppin' has been in the Twitch scene for a very long time now. In fact, he was one of the first Twitch streamers to be ever successful in the platform. Everyone dreams of playing video games, do IRL live vlogs, and get paid for it. But for Soda Poppin', he's living that dream. What he took was not an easy road towards success. He had to battle against the barriers to gain his sub, as well as becoming one of the biggest online stars today. Wow. Some don't like his antics, but a lot will agree that he's keeping everything real. One of the biggest reasons how he got his fame is because of his personality. While most streamers may be the good boy type or either constantly aggressive or chill, Soda Poppin' is a mix of different moods on screen. He's not known for just one particular game nowadays, although his initial start for his fame was from World of Warcraft, but he's known just for being him. Oh, wow. That's great. I think I wrote this myself. Moving on. Yes, he's not a professional gamer at all, let alone esports worthy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> False it. I Shut the fuck that. up. But it's how he connects with his audience while playing or vlogging that makes him a standout from the rest of the streamers on Twitch. In this article, we'll be taking a look at Soda Poppin', from how he got his claim to fame to the controversies up to his modern day activity. So far, this. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking holes in this article so far that are just completely incorrect, but we'll, we'll keep giving it a try. Um, thank you for the 20 bucks, RJ Hellboy. Thank you. Jesus. Soda Poppin's real name is Thomas Jefferson Chance Morris IV. His fans know this well, but for those who aren't familiar at all, yes, Thomas Jefferson is his legit first name. He was born on February 15th, 1994 in Austin, Texas, USA. Correct. How did he become so famous? He was one of the first people on Earth to ever play Blizzard's World of Warcraft, especially back in the beta in, two, beta in 2003, until it got released the following year. During the days of growing up, he thought of wanting to show off his PvP games to everyone else besides his buddies. The game grew on him as years went by, and in 2010, he got his shot on the now-gone live-streaming website, xfire.com. He didn't really receive a lot of viewers during that time, but it was a start. At some point, right before Twitch existed, he got up to 500 followers from xfire. Wow. When Twitch was finally established the next year, this was definitely his time to shine. World of Warcraft fans would just flock to his channel, enjoying the company that he brings to everyone while doing PvPs and raids with either friends or even one of his followers. Wow. I love doing PvPs. In 2018, his net worth is over $400,000, according to CelebSelino.com. Stop. 
Does he still play World of Warcraft regularly? These days, he's not really focused on WoW anymore. It just really depends on which game he wants to play, and his followers are okay with that, despite most of his followers, especially the first batch, are from the WoW niche. 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 Okay. Is his channel appropriate for all ages? Soda Poppins' channel, whether Twitch or YouTube, is definitely not family-friendly, unlike Ninja or Shroud. As in, not at all. It's not like he's a big trash talker or anything like Tyler1. It's just that his humor is always something kids would find surprising and parents seeing it as upsetting. But this is what makes him great. He doesn't have to put up a fake smile and pretend everything is joyful and jolly like the personalities on TV that host cooking shows or home makeovers. Everything about him is just him. Wow. Okay. If anything, Chance is considered to be one of the anti-hero types who likes to keep things real. I, I hate the word real, but okay. Whether he's playing WoW, going out to take a road trip with Forsen, or play another game with Greek God X, the fans really love what he does. Nice. How is his Twitch channel doing? Right now, Chance Morris has over 2 million followers. Total view count of over 220 million as of July 2018. He currently rests at the number 16th spot um, in the top 100 most followed Twitch streamers on Social Blade. This is actually really boring. I'll keep reading it. In 2011, just right after Twitch was created, Soda Papa existed on the website. In those times, all he ever does is stream his gameplay in Blizzard's highly successful MMORPG, World of Warcraft. PvPs are usually the main course. I love that wording. PvPs. Nice. Like Ninja, the fuck do you say to me, you little shit? Um, thank you, Stax, Kajso, C and Sona. Thanks, guys. Uh, let's see here. He's funny a lot of times and was one of the first streamers to popular popularize the term pog, which would become a natural slang for the Twitch community. Nice. If anything, he's one of the most banned personalities on Twitch. He got banned a lot. Why, you ask? Well, let's see. One of the reasons was the possession of a firearm by his now ex-girlfriend on livestream. No. Another where his ex was showing her ass on livestream. I didn't get banned for that, but okay. Another by his then new girlfriend showing so much cleavage that Twitch rendered his channel inappropriate to everyone. No. What? Which is hypocritical nowadays, especially if you look at the IRL Twitch streamers. And of course, some crude humor here and there. That's... I don't know what the fuck that paragraph is on about. I do know... I did get banned for a girl showing a firearm on my stream. Um, not my girlfriend. No, that was just some random... That was Sarah. It's a long time ago. So kind of true, but wasn't dating. Another, his ex was showing her ass on live stream. Uh, didn't get banned for it. There's nowhere online that talks... That must have been Sherry. Maybe, but I don't think I got banned for that one time she showed her butt. I don't know. It was Leah? No. No, it wasn't. Another by his then new girlfriend showing so much cleavage that Twitch rendered his channel inappropriate to everyone. Yeah, I don't know where that's even coming from. Leah was like on my stream twice. Right? <laughs> It was a real struggle for him to get his sub activated, but soon later it would finally click on him, and there he is, a fully fledged mage streamer. Uh, is he more of the comedian type? This is weird reading this. He's mostly full of inside jokes about gaming and World of Warcraft, where new viewers who aren't into gaming may never understand his humor at all. Thank fuck. His level of sarcasm leaves a lot of dense people in a clump of misunderstanding whenever he makes satirical statements. 
But of course, that does not mean the man cannot be serious at all. At one time, he made a statement of how sick and tired he is towards female Twitch streamers. With more emphasis on the quotation marks, since he's pointing out how fake some streamers are on the platform. We'll get more on that topic later. Oh, Jesus Christ. How about his YouTube channel? While his Twitch is all about gaming with a side of IRL streams, his YouTube is mostly highlights from his Twitch channel as well as personal vlogs. 850,000 subs. Okay. I don't know. Any, I, th this article probably knows more about my YouTube than me. If I'm being honest, I don't know shit about it. What were the big challenges and controversies he faced? Twitch itself finds Soda Poppin as a rebellious person that doesn't want to play by the rules. Most of the time, ever since they changed their terms of service when Amazon bought the website in 2014, things did not or did change, especially for streamers who love to do unfiltered humor, which may be considered highly offensive to soy boys and SJWs who think everything is hate, hate speech. Streamers like Trainwreck TV and Soda Poppin were always suspended from streaming just because they said critical opinions on Twitch that have hurt the folks over the IRL category. While Chance may not be the same guy in 2013, he's still somewhat much grittier than other mainstream YouTubers like Ninja or Shroud. Remember this one time he got banned on World of Warcraft and contacted Blizzard support? A real classic. Jesus. However, it wasn't long until he got banned again on April 3rd, 2018, where he would later be unbanned just the day after. Yep. Now, going back to the statement I said about him getting fed up with certain female streamers, he made a really outstanding point. While trying not to be rude, the people he pointed out are really just going for cheap ways to rake the money as well as viewership, just by simply being sexy in front of the camera. What did I say? What did I say? I don't remember this. Let's be honest. This whole girl streaming drama is out of hand. In my opinion, I don't care if girls are receiving larger donations. I only care that some girl streamers get away with being full cam more than 50% of their stream. Oh, this is before the IRL category existed on Twitch. Um, Casey Tron has gameplay the entire stream. She sucks ass at games, and it's funny. Yet she has gameplay. Some of you are so naive in this whole argument, and it actually has annoyed me to the point that I have to comment about this. I am not affected by thirsty guys donating to girls. Being mad about that just means that I'm jealous. I'm affected by non-gaming streamers calling themselves Twitch streamers when really they belong on my free cams or YouTube. If you're going to be on Twitch and be a hot girl, that's fine. I would expect that you're actually playing games and not just pandering giveaways while full cam 80% of your stream. Yeah, the IRL section wasn't even out yet, so it was like... P.S. To most of the girls that are going to be called out on this, I apologize as most of you are probably not what I just explained, and that's where the ignorance comes to play. That was a long... Like, yeah, that was a long time ago. I dare you to retweet this. <laughs> Fuck that, Ashley. Hell no. Dude, it was so... I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are new, but there was a time on Twitch when it was a gaming website. This is serious. This is actually serious. Uh, when Twitch was a gaming website. It's not anymore, so... It's different now, but back then, uh, you had to have a certain amount of gameplay, and girls were just sitting full cam, right? They weren't actually playing the game. Twitch did not like this, and so they came out with a rule that, like, at least 30%, they, they, they actually had a number, a percentage. At least 30% of your stream needed to be gameplay, or something of that sort. And, of course, I'm telling you, people were fucking really mad, like, it, uh, I was a little annoyed, but, like, random people that didn't stream and do anything were so just up in arms about this shit. They would go through, like, basically every single girl streamer's stream, their VOD, and they would calculate how much of it is considered gameplay. They would make a YouTube video, basically, like, editing, like, this section is not real gameplay. I don't... I don't consider this gameplay, so that's excluded. And as you can see here, only 24% of her stream this day was not ga or was gameplay. And they'll submit that to Twitch, like I demand this girl be banned, and I want to be credited, like shit like that. It was fucking ridiculous. There's a lot of drama about that. It's really funny, actually. I, who the fuck has that much free time? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. 
basic basement dwellers versus twitch thoughts i yeah it was world war three i'm telling you all right um it's statements like this that really make him look and feel like a real person and that is what his fans really admire most he's not afraid to say what's on his mind at all even if it means him getting banned for just twitch admins think he is encouraging hate speech as always that was a cringy paragraph um, is he friendly to his fans despite what people say against him? The main best thing about him, this guy's, I got a lot of best things about me according to this guy, is that he keeps on interacting with his viewers. Sometimes he lets the whole comment section be the boss and take control of what he should do for the rest of the stream. There are a lot of streamers who actually don't interact much with their viewers, but for chance, he makes sure they're all Retweet like brothers Twitter and sisters. And you will be first place on the controversial streamer list. Only Dude. The wall. I could. Mm. Ah, you guys are like my brothers and sisters. And usually siblings hate each other. So, cool. All right. Think of Soda Poppin' as an all-around entertainer. I don't care anymore. Next. I don't even care to read this. I'm over it. Are there any actual, like, entertaining ones? Like, these serious ones I just can't be bothered with. Like, I need, like, some fucking... Uh, an article written by an actual retard. 